Hi everyone, this is Mindy and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be working with the layered peony stencil from the Gina K Designs Lovely Notes card kit and introducing you to a new rainbow color combo. Here's a look at the layered peony stencil. It is a two piece stencil, so it's very easy to line up and there's a very minimal amount of stencils you have to work with. I'm going to create a whole background using this stencil. So I started by placing the first layer of the stencil down in the bottom corner of my white cardstock. This is layering weight white cardstock from Gina K Designs that I have cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. I placed it on my magnetic station, held it down with my magnets, and then also used some post-it tape to kind of mask off the top portion of my card. I've done some videos in the past using Gina K Designs inks and color combinations, so I thought I would share this color combination using some of her new inks. The first color I had used was the Light Orchid. Next, I'm coming in with Sweet Corn. Now, Sweet Corn and some of these others have been around for a while. The new one to this is that Light Orchid. Now, my third color is going to be Sea Glass. So as I blended that sweet corn into the light orchid, it created kind of that orange tone. The sea glass into sweet corn is going to create kind of that green. And then my last color that I'm going to use is Medium Lilac, which is another one of her newer colors. So I'm bringing that down into that sea glass, which is one of my favorite combinations here is that Lilac into the sea glass. So that is our first layer, but I'm also going to bring in the leaves and kind of add that in before I get too far along. I lined the edge of that leaf stencil up so it kind of fit in with my flower and then blended on some light spruce. Now I'm going to take my stencil and I'm kind of turning it so I have the peony coming in from the top of the card and just coming right up next to the previous one I did. Once again, I held that stencil down with my magnets masked off the other areas so I don't get any ink on the rest of the card. And then I'm going to repeat those exact same steps I did for the first one. Coming in with that light orchid, sweet corn, sea glass, and then finishing up with the medium lilac. Now, as I had continued to move through the rainbow of colors, I am cleaning my brush off just by brushing it off on a paper towel, mainly because if my sea glass is going up into the sweet corn, it's also picking up some of that sweet corn ink. So I want to clean that off so that when I come back to do another one, I am going to get a true sea glass or true blue color. Also keep in mind, I'm still only working with the first layer of the stencil. I took that once again, kind of have it coming in from that right hand corner. And now this time I'm only going to do that light orchid, trying to remember all my colors, that light orchid, the sweet corn and the sea glass. So that is my first layer of the stencil and already it is gorgeous. You could leave it just like this, but I am going to bring in that second layer of the stencil because I absolutely love what this does to my flower. So I lined that up, placed that over my stencil area, held that down again, and also masked off the rest of my card. And I'm going to come back in. I'm using the exact same colors that I did. I'm just going to apply a little bit more ink. I'm going to go over it a few more times to help darken those colors up. Now, this is also where things can sometimes get tricky because we can create kind of a muddy tone if we're not careful in that sweet corn and sea glass area. So it may be helpful for you to wipe off your stencil in between each color. That's totally up to you. I did not do it on mine, but on this particular flower here that's peeking in from the top, I was starting to pick up some of the other ink left over on my stencil and a few of my petals did start kind of turning a little bit money, money, muddy, but I think it still turned out really great. I just have my last one down here off on the side, which is really quick to do because it's only a partial of the flower. So once again, that light orchid, sweet corn and sea glass. I also have my leaves that do have a layer of adding detail on that second stencil. I'm going to skip that layer. I'm actually going to bring in layer one, which is just that wide open area of the leaves. So instead of adding detail, I'm just going to bring in a darker color. So I believe this one was a medium spruce and I'm adding a little bit just kind of down towards the bottom and blending up a little bit to give it a highlight area. I'm going to do the same thing with that leaf that I have at the very top. 
So now here is the big reveal of it. And I absolutely love how all of this came out and that kind of new rainbow color combination. I also wanted to do this rainbow color combination just on a plain piece of cardstock. So if you were ink blending a background, this is how you would most likely see it versus kind of all mixed together in that peony stencil. So there were the same colors I used before, which was that light orchid. Then I have my sweet corn. And in between each color, I do wipe up my glass surface. So that way I'm not transferring any ink where I don't want it. Like I right now, I didn't want to pick up any of the pink ink. So then here is my sea glass and then finishing it off with that medium lilac. So as I finish this up, I'm going to kind of freeze the frame for you a little bit. If you wanted to screenshot this and save this for later, it's going to list out all the colors that I used on this swatch. So there was the light orchid, sweet corn, sea glass, and medium lilac. Now to go back and finish off my peony card, I'm going to use this Love from the Love You Trio. Now this is also part of the Lovely Notes card kit. They will be sold individual, individually later on, but for right now they are in the card kit, which is a super amazing deal and lots of great stuff. This is probably one of my favorite kits right now. I die cut this word love multiple times, probably about three or four times from some black onyx cardstock. And then I have here a sentiment from the Lovely Notes Poly Glaze set. So I will link a video in the description and also I'll try to remember to put one up in the corner of how I foiled this and then use the coordinating die in the kit to die cut that out. I also die cut it multiple times from white cardstock and I'm just layering those together with my connect glue that I have in fine tip bottles. So you can use the positive or the negative piece from this word love. I'm actually going to have my front of the card using the negative pieces, but I'm using the positive piece to line them up. So what I did is I placed that positive piece on the front of my card and I'm holding it down with post-it tape. I know post-it tape is not going to rip my cardstock, so it's just holding it there to keep everything nice and straight. And then I'm going to take all of the letters. I'm going to add a little bit of that connect glue to the back of the letters and then line that up in those openings. Now I'm not pushing down too hard because if I got a little carried away with my connect glue, I don't want that to squeeze over. So I'm just kind of gently placing that in there for right now. Once I finish off that last letter, I'm going to carefully peel up that post-it tape and then I'm going to take my tweezers and kind of help guide that um, positive piece up. So that way I'm kind of holding it and as I'm doing it slowly, I'm not pulling up my letters. So once I have this all pulled up, it's going to have that word love right across the top. And the reason I kind of chose those negative pieces is it took up less space and kind of gave my peonies more room to breathe on the front of my card. Now I'm going to take all the other letters that I had die cut out and I'm going to layer them on top. So it's going to create that dimension on the front of my card. I'm also going to take some liquid glue, add that to the back of that polyglaze sentiment that is foiled with champagne foil. And I debated if I wanted it over the top or underneath. I went for over the top once again, just to give my peonies room to breathe on the front of the card. Then I just placed a paperweight over the top and let that sit for a few minutes. Now I'm going to embellish this with one of my favorite embellishments, which is the Clear Quartz Solid Sequence Mix from Gina K Designs. I, I have a whole bunch over in a plastic container. I bought multiple packs one time and I just kind of scoop them out into a triangle tray and that helps me sort through and pick out the sizes that I want and then scatter them around the sentiment. Really, really loving how this card came out and those beautiful rainbow colors. I still have that blended panel that I did earlier and I wanted to put that to use, but it was kind of an odd shape where if I were to attach it to the front of a card, I wouldn't have even margins. So I decided to use this large floral stamp set from The Lord is My Shepherd and I used my Misty Corners to kind of prop my cardstock up towards the middle of my Misty and then that way I could line up that floral kind of going across it. I wanted to make sure that when I stamp it and die cut it, I would get all of those colors in there. So after I picked that up with the door of my Misty, I brought my Misty Corners back in. I had to use two of them because that stamp is pretty big. So I used that to kind of help align my cardstock back in the center where I had originally kind of placed my stamp. I'm going to try and hold that down with my magnet. And then I inked it up really good with the black onyx ink. So I'm going to stamp this down and really push down in those centers where all that detail is. And 
I was really impressed. I don't even think I conditioned this, but that stamped out pretty darn perfect for the first time. So I'm leaving it. I'm going to walk away, go with it. I use the coordinating die to die cut this out. I also die cut out another one to layer behind it just for some stability. Now I'm also going to leave in my mistakes here. This one, you may notice right off the bat, I did not. But what I did is I had a piece of cardstock trimmed down so that my margins were gonna be even on the front of a A2 size note card. And I'm adding my die cut piece over the top of this using a tape runner. Now right away, you may notice that I have some edges to this. I did not see it right away. I did know the one on the right hand side had an edge, but I didn't see the one in the top left. And that just doesn't look right because it's cut off and my panel is bigger. So because I used the dot runner, I am going to carefully peel that back up, which is one of the reasons I love using Gina's dot runner is because I can easily remove it. And then I'm taking my adhesive eraser and I'm going to take off all of that tape that I had added on the back. A little bit timely of a process, but it was needed because I didn't want to waste this panel. So after I removed that, I placed it on another piece of cardstock and trimmed that out. So this, it, it's pretty tiny. I think this ended up measuring maybe, maybe three and a half by four and three quarters, something like that. I just needed to make sure that when I added it to the card front that I had even margins around it. Then to finish this card off, I used another sentiment that I had foiled using the Poly Glaze Lovely Notes set die cut it out with the coordinating die from the Lovely Notes card kit and added it to the front of the card. And that's going to finish off my two card projects that I have for you today, kind of using this new rainbow ink blend using Gina K Designs inks. So I hope you found this video inspiring and I will have all of my supplies listed down below in the video description and over on my blog as well. Thank you so much for joining me today.